summertime in a glass. In the 1500s, these came out. This is called a hot still. <laughs> Spoiled the dead cat. <laughs> Welcome back to Bar Humbug. Today we're meeting up with my good friend Ryan. We're going to check out a distillery. Where is he? Did you bring a boiled sweet? We're going pack, pack lunch. Oh yeah. yeah. Hungry. Be nice. I had uh, katsu sando for lunch. I had katsu sando as well. Yeah. I had a egg uh, one. St. Drew. How did that happen? Just the lining. The lining outside calls. Today we're heading to South Melbourne to learn all there is to know about gin at the Patient Wolf Distilling Company. This stop is your street. Stop one. South Melbourne's a beautiful place. It's a cracker. It's a beautiful place indeed. So you're excited about going to a distillery? Absolutely. Are you a gin drinker? Yeah. I'm British. Of course I'm a gin drinker. <laughs> Some juniper berries in your life. Isn't it just vodka with juniper berries? It's just ethanolic fruit. <laughs> So you quite like wearing a mask? I'm over it. I'm still wearing one, yeah. I wear them in the supermarket. You don't have to anymore. I know, but it's the only way I can hide my habit that I've picked up when I'm buying bread. <laughs> I stand there just flicking my tongue. And without the mask, it just looks weird. <laughs> just crumpets. It's mainly the crumpets. Fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy night. Very good, thank you. Are you going to see Blake? We are here to see Blake. Excellent. Hello, Blake. How's it going? Hey, Michael. Hey, Michael. Ryan. Hi. Nice Very nice to meet you. I'll have what he's Hi. having. The Melbourne Dry Grapefruit and Sage. Sounds yep. great. Grapefruit and Sage. Grapefruit and Sage. It's almost like breakfast. Cheers. That is summertime in a glass. This is the first still on the list. Oh, fantastic. So we're the first. So how long has this place been here? So we opened in November 2019. We started making gin in November 2016. I was Matt and Dave's first employee, so I started about three and a half years ago. I was the first person to get a paycheck, which was nice. I really liked the gin and I had a bunch of mates in bars. So, so when you popped up, actually, I recognized all my friends in your website video. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Uh, what I like to do is just sort of start with the gin history, we can power through that and then we can move into botanicals and distillation which is fun stuff. I think it's kind of nice to explain where gin came from. Now in the 1500s these came out, this is called a hot still. What you can do is you can put your malt wine in the bottom, you can seal it up and then you can heat it up. The alcohol boils at 78.37 degrees Celsius. Once it comes through the still, it drips out here and what comes out is 50% alcohol. Why don't we go check out some botanicals? You ready? Grab your drink. Grab your tasting glass as well. You'll need that too. There we go. Grab one of these. This is a juniper berry. So I want you to rip that in half and have a smell. Here you go. That is gin in a nutshell, right? Juniper berries are important, obviously, that's the main ingredient in gin. But we can move on to the next botanical, which is coriander seed. Does anyone hate coriander? Oh, Here's why you'd use coriander seed in a gin. A coriander seed is packed full of lemonine, and if you smell this, it smells like lemons. <laughs> I doubt you've tried many gins without this. It smells good. Everybody, let's talk about spices. So I want everyone to grab a leaf. What can you smell? Yeah, licorice. Does anyone smell citrus? Mm, that smells good. If you have a sip of the summertime gin, we add more tonka beans so it tastes sweeter. It's beautiful. People are trying to Addicted get to tonka. Oh, I'm going to order oh, myself a kilo of tonka when I get home. Oh, 
What's the most unusual thing anybody's put into a gin? Uh, discontinued Harley Davidson motorcycle pump, uh, a Big Mac. Also a Sunday roast gin with roast potatoes, carrots, thyme, rosemary, salt, pepper, lamb bones, and gravy. No, the Big Mac was better. Yeah, the Big Mac was better. Okay, really, this is Dave and George. That's Dave, that's George. George is the star. I just work here. Uh, yeah. D&G. Do you want the cap? Hell. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiled the, the dead cat. Got a great nose. Great. Bye, George. <laughs> Alright, distillation. Uh, it was hand built. This is the only still of its kind in Australia. I'll explain how it works. Put your alcohol at the bottom of the still, water it down to about 38%. That means we get about 250 bottles of gin. And now it gets heated with a steam jacket. The steam will then turn into an alcohol vapor and it starts to rise up. It then moves into a column. There's a 10 meter long car park ramp made out of copper in here. More copper than any other still in Australia. It then goes into a deflagrimator, which makes it taste beautiful. The deflagrimator also cools down the steam, which goes through your pipe here, goes into your basket, and steams your orange and grapefruit and anise metal, your Melbourne dry. Then it goes into a condenser, drips out of something called a parrot. There's something about this channel and charcuterie. Hmm? Yeah, we can't pronounce it. That's where it all started. That's bloody good. I've got good a new good. appreciation for gin. That's it. I'm going to hit the gin bottle. Goodbye, lads. It was lovely to meet you. See you guys. No worries. Oh, See you guys! See ya! Let's go to this, stop rain. What do you think of patient walk? I'm really surprised. Like I said, I was a whiskey drinker. I think I've changed my mind. I feel like you've really grown as a mum. I have. I feel like I've witnessed. I have, I have I've witnessed it. I've come of age. <laughs> <laughs> I can drink gin now. You're a big boy. You're I've got that boy. bottle of Hendrix sitting on the shelf. <laughs> You're gonna it. open it. I'm gonna open it's it. It's not now. just for display purposes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I give it a good solid nine. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. It's well deserving of that. And what does everybody have to do? Like, bar humbug, comment, push the little button, push that bell, subscribe. See you next time, humbuggers. See you, humbuggers. Pleasure. Brioche. Okay. <laughs> Come down and see us at Patient Wolf. We're open from. Oh golly, I forgot. <laughs> Come and see us at Patient Wolf. We're open. <laughs> Thursday to Sunday down in South Melbourne. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tell them Bar Humbug sent you. Yes, absolutely.